So today I'm going to show you how you can dissect out the gill arch and the lower pharyngeal jawbone so you can then utilize these features for looking at shape variation. Um, for instance, you could take photographs and use this for geometrical morphometrics um, or traditional point-to-point -point distance measurements um, or most accounts. Um, there's lots of different uses really. So um... first step, um, we can access all these elements underneath this flap, the operculum, and underneath you can see the gill filaments quite clearly. First step is to separate the gill arch from the head using the scalpel by disconnecting it at the top and the bottom, making sure not to damage the actual gills or the pharyngeal apparatus behind the gill. So once you've um, detached it at the top, you can work your way down the bottom carefully, just making sure, again, not to damage any parts of the gill filaments and just taking as much time as you need. And then once you've managed to detach um, the gill arch at the top of the bottom, you can just pull it out with a pair of tweezers. And then here you can see the gill arch with the filaments on one side and the rakers on the other. We'll need to detach it on the other side like so, just to make it easier to get the pharyngeal jaw out. Now to get the actual uh, lower pharyngeal jaw out, you need to disconnect it at the bottom, which is where the blade is, and then also slice it underneath. And then once you've disconnected it at the bottom and underneath, you can disconnect it at the top where it's connected, um, its horns are connected with muscles. And so you just work it on both sides, just carefully removing it. And then again, once it's been uh, detached, just pull out with a pair of tweezers. And then it's obviously still covered in flesh at the moment, but you will still be able to see its triangular shape. A um, bit of flesh on the horns there. And then after this, you can clean all the flesh off. And then here you can see most of the flesh has been cleaned with the horns and the teeth visible.